Here's a Rally Sprite 27. The 27 stands for the wheel size. This is a 27 inch wheel. This bike, I believe, was from the mid 1970s. I didn't get a positive date identification on it, but it came with the Raleigh self-adjusting brakes, which I have replaced. Um, I believe Raleigh was using those in the mid 1970s and they were brakes that as you pulled the brake in, there was a ratcheting mechanism here that was supposed to automatically adjust the cable tension. And I think we all kind of agree those brake levers were garbage. So I replaced these with just a simple uh, cruiser style Diacomp brake lever. And I'll tell you, this bike, I've been riding it for the past few weeks and you cannot ride this bike without smiling. There is just something about these old rallies that ride so smooth and so sporty and so classy. It is extremely comfortable with this Brooks saddle with the springs in it. The bike is a 60 millimeter frame, which is actually slightly too large for me. I'm usually a 50, four to a 58 I still love riding this bike but it's going for sale as do most of my bikes this one's just a little bit too big for me it's a five speed one in the front five in the back perfect for riding around the city I did replace the rear freewheel. The original one was worn out. I did re-spoke these wheels. So there's new spokes and new spoke nipples. I did use the original rims <clears throat> in an effort to save a little bit of money. They were true and they're round, but they've got a little bit of wear on them, a little bit of patina, a little bit of surface rust. Kind of went back and forth on whether those were worth replacing but the truth is you know a new set of rims would have at a minimum cost another sixty dollars to this build and there's only so much i can get selling these bikes so i decided to leave the original rims on i did find these nice treaded tires that um were marketed as cyclocross tires shifter on the tree, the really cool old Raleigh stem, just very unique looking. And I love these cruiser style handlebars, which I believe are called North Roads bars. Just couldn't, couldn't be a more comfortable bike to ride. Nice rack. It's got the old Fredericksburg, Virginia license plate. I bought this bike in Fredericksburg. I went through a lot of effort to remove all of the rust from this bike, but it seems like it's sort of flash rusting. Nothing mechanical. This bike is mechanically perfect. All the bearings have been replaced and re-greased, but some of these components, the brakes, and these old R-nuts just seem to keep popping up with rust, and I'm just letting it be. Cotter pin cranks, those are always fun to deal with. But I was able to remove the cranks and salvage the cotter pins and get it all put back together. That allowed me to service the bottom bracket. And if you know anything about these Raleigh's, the bottom bracket and the headset, just littered with loose bearings. Those are always fun to deal with. Really cool rear rack. That Brooks saddle is just absolutely comfortable. Anyways, if you're looking for an old bike to restore, something for riding around the city, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Raleigh Sprite 27. The Raleigh Sports is another 
option, but there is something about these bikes that just feels different than any other bike you've ever ridden. They're fun to work on, they're classy, they're a little bit unique, at least here in the States. Not exactly rare, but as time goes on, you see less and less of these. Made in England, which is just cool, right? This one has the five speed. A lot of the rallies of this time were the three speeds. Just a really classy bike. Anyways, like all of these bikes, it's going up for sale on Craigslist. It's a true bargain.